Hello, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am 10 DPO and we're going to go ahead and take another easy at home strip and see if we see a little something starting to form on these tests. I'm really hoping I start seeing something soon. I'm going to continue testing every single day from here until AF does or does not arrive. So make sure you come back tomorrow and we're going to continue taking these tests. So far, if you missed my past videos, I started testing with you guys at 8 DPO. I swear I saw something very, very faint on 8 DPO, but then yesterday on 9 DPO, it was negative. Um, even now that it's fully dry, I don't really see anything at all. So I'm not sure what is going to be the result of this cycle, but let's just continue and test and see if we do start seeing something. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one dipped and we will wait till it develops. All right, 10 DPO. Let's go ahead and get this dipped. And then I'm going to give it a full five minutes because these tests take forever to finish developing. But they're really good for not giving any type of like major EVAP lines or indents like I've had troubles with other tests before. So I'm going to let that sit over here. Let's see, 7.34, so at 7.39 or 7.40, we'll take a look at it. And I use the Fertility Friend app to just track my cycles. Uh, my temperature this morning was 98.6, so still in that same range. The highest has been was 98.8. But today went back to the day that I first started taking temperatures. I started taking my temperature a little bit late in the cycle. So we don't have a lot of um, that we can work with as in tracking my temperature. But that's just what we have. I logged in the last four days. Here is 7, 8, and 9 DPO. The one in the middle is 8 DPO where I thought I was seeing a faint line. But then yesterday, I definitely didn't have anything. So if you are new to my channel, in April, I was pregnant, but it ended up as a miscarriage. That would be my second miscarriage. And if you're very new to my channel and you didn't know, I actually had a tubal ligation um, after I had my daughter. She's eight now. And somehow, some way, I've been able to get pregnant two times ever since getting my tubes completely, they were cut and burned at the ends. So that was my per permanent form of birth control, but it did not work apparently. So now we are just trying to conceive because we really want a rainbow baby. Our last miscarriage in April. Um, I really didn't think that it would happen. I thought this was finally it. Um, we were finally going to have a rainbow baby. But unfortunately, it just didn't happen. And it's just out of our hands, out of our control. It's pretty frustrating to experience early miscarriages because we never really know what is causing them. I don't know if it's something with me or it was just a coincidence and just one of those normal miscarriages that happen because something is wrong with the with the baby so it's very like I really want to know what what's causing the miscarriages if they are just miscarriages that were going to happen regardless or if it's if they have been ectopic pregnancies and my body just got rid of them like it's supposed to because we don't really know what went wrong with my tubal ligation but like I can't ever find out um, why I'm getting these miscarriages because I lose them so early every time I get an ultrasound it's just too early to see anything or have already started losing the pregnancy so I can't wait for the day where I get another positive test and we're actually able to see the baby in the ultrasound and just get all of our prayers answered for another baby to add to our family instead of just experiencing these early losses, which leaves us very confused. All right, so got a couple more minutes. I'm going to give the test and then we'll check out the results together. Okay, 
time is up. It's time to let, or it's time to see the results of this test. I'm going to let you guys look at it first and I'm looking at it through the camera screen as well. I don't think I'm seeing anything from this screen. Let me take a closer look. I don't see absolutely anything on this test, so I'm going to go with negative once again. There it is compared to my other test this month. Definitely a negative. I'm not going to even insert pictures of this because I'm not seeing anything. So I'm just going to let it be 10 DPO negative test and we'll be back tomorrow for 11 DPO and so on. I have to keep in mind with my last pregnancy back in April. I didn't test until 14 DPO the day my period was due and I was getting pretty pretty faint lines still on those. I think the first one I took on that pregnancy was the clear blue and I had a very very faint blue lines on that test. Then I started taking the Walmart 88 cent test and those were very faint too. But so at, at 10 DPO not everybody really shows a line yet, but we'll continue testing to see. I am not, I haven't taken these pregnancy tests yet when I'm pregnant, but I've been watching other people take them. They seem to start getting t um, very faint lines around 9, 10 DPO. So I don't know if that's bad news for this cycle. It might not be our month, but every pregnancy is different. Everybody is different, so... We're going to keep our fingers crossed for the next couple days. Hopefully we start seeing something and just I'm just hoping it's not a really big gap before I am able to get pregnant again. Especially not a three year gap like our other. I have a three year gap between my first ever miscarriage and this most recent one that happened in April. It took three years to get pregnant again so I'm hoping that is not the case this time around but let's come back tomorrow for another test I'm looking forward to sharing the results with you and hoping that if you are trying to conceive as well that you are seeing your positive lines or will see them very soon too all right see you tomorrow